Uh, I see that the industry has changed a lot, particularly mm -hmm. from when you started. So what do you think is the biggest challenge about producing today Well, versus the 1960s, per se? Well, in the, the 1960s, there were really three networks, right. maybe even two and a half, because ABC wasn't very strong back those days. Mm -hmm. um, now there are hundreds of networks. Uh, in the 1960s, all of the product came from the United States. Nobody wanted product from overseas. Mm -hmm. Now, it's an enormous amount of product which is coming from overseas. In fact, the networks have gotten to the point where they, um, they really like a show which comes from overseas that has proven itself, sure. if you will. Uh, the third thing is the technology has changed dramatically. So while scripted shows are even more expensive, a scripted hour series costs like four million dollars these days, three to four million dollars. As a result of that cost structure, and as a result of technology, reality programming has emerged. Mm -hmm. This way, it allows the networks to balance the costs sure. that they're paying. And the miniaturization of cameras, the ease of editing uh, okay. nowadays, the digital digitization of the, the, the software, uh, everything makes it much, much easier, more efficient to shoot. That allows you to do we're so lucky, the real housewives of, uh, you know, Pomona, you know, and uh, maybe it's a hit because you can afford to do it. You can go afford to go into a house and mm -hmm. shoot, etc. Back when I was young, Walter Cronkite, no, Edward R. Murrow was the lion of that, those days. There was a show called, uh, I think it was called You Are There, and they would go to the White House and do an interview, or they would go and interview Grandma Moses or something. It was a huge undertaking. I mean, three huge cameras and set up and do the rigging and the lighting and everything. It just was incredible. Now today, you know, you and I, or I could do that very easily in one day. You know? mm -hmm. In fact, there was a fellow who just made a Kickstarter film on his cell phone. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So the technology has changed dramatically. The source of origin has changed dramatically. Mm -hmm. In those days, there were two and a half networks. Now there are hundreds of networks. But what's interesting, those hundreds of networks are basically controlled by five companies. Mm -hmm. And those five companies are combinations of what were the major film studios of those days and what were the networks, mm -hmm. one way or another. So. Disney is ABC, which owns ESPN, which owns ABC Family, and mm -hmm. owns various other things, networks. Um, CBS is basically Paramount, which is Viacom, which is Nickelodeon, right. mm -hmm. which is all of those, and, and so on and so on. You can yeah. parse them out. So really, it's an, it's an oligarchy. So there are huge, huge changes. The one thing that doesn't change is content. Content is king. And it all comes back to good storytelling. Mm -hmm. Technology makes it easier, perhaps, to tell stories, uh, but it's still good storytelling. So when you're doing The Real Housewives of Pomona, you're trying to tell a story. And whereas with scripted television, the writer would write on a piece of paper, mm -hmm. as they say, nowadays the editor is just as much a writer mm -hmm. as the, the writer is because the editor sits there and parses the words and mm -hmm. you know you can make a person say whatever they want. <laughs> right. you know? They can make this into an incredibly dull interview, whereas we know, in fact, it is incredibly exciting. We, that, we know it's <laughs> an action film interview. And stuff. Thank you for watching this interview with Sid Vintage. And please, watch the next video in this series.